ba? Wala, wala pang ata tayong slasher dito masyado. Time travel, alien invasion, disaster. Ang dami pwede gawin. So parang na-enjoy ko right now na medyo nandun ako sa niche market ngayon. Uh, sa ngayon, friendly yung mga studios sa akin. So habang, habang may ganun na opportunity, marami akong gusto gawin. And isa na tong Dead Kids na dream film ko talaga na uh, diba, heist and kidnapping pero high school. Ano, sobrang hip and yet kahit pa paano may social commentary pa rin, na, napasok pa rin namin yun. So, sana magustuhan ng mga tao. While you, while, you <laughs> while you were doing the, the script, the story, um, alin sa mga characters ang mas nag-resonate ka? Uh, I think parang may fragments of me and my brother sa lahat. Uh, uh, parang ano rin yun, uh, ang naglalaban syempre yung ang tao naman, di ba, hindi ka archetype na isa lang yung ano mo, uh, personal or thought process mo. So, yung demons mo, no, nag, 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 nag-aaway rin yun. So, parang, in a way, uh, yung dynamic ng gang, lahat yun part of us. Lahat yun mga gusto namin sabihin or subconscious namin, uh, hindi namin masabi in real life, pero dahil fictional world to na nakreate namin ng brotherhood, doon namin pwede ilabas. And parang yung mga ideology namin, dito na namin ilabas. So, sana ma mapulot yun ang audience. At the same time, di ba, ayaw namin mabigat siya. Gusto namin para siyang veggie meat na madaling madigest, di ba? Yung surface layer namin, super entertaining, sobrang hip. I guess, even the way we will market this, di ba? I mean, kidnappers in high school, di ba? Sobrang cool pakinggan. Pero at the same time, marami siyang layers. So, hindi lang siya mababaw na parang entertaining pop flick. So, what's your stand on yung Dawson's Creek approach na casting. Yung, yung matatanda na, pero... Grabe naman Sir Jun. Nag-react. of the high school guys and they're pretending to be high school. Uh, ako, ano, it's more of uh, iba-iba age minsan yung mga characters, pero ano yun eh, depende naman sa auditions if they can really embody uh, the character. Minsan, may advantage yung age uh-huh. kasi may nadadala silang maturity and understanding, mas grasp na yung script mas iba yung interpretation. And minsan may advantage naman yung pagkabata kasi may, may certain kind of innocence kang hinahanap sa character na yun. Uh, kunyari, mas naive yung character, nag-work yung younger ano yun, actor. So, na, and then kung mas parang mature na siya yung nag-influence talaga sa group, diba? may, may na-add yun. So, oh, depende sa performance sa audition. And may kilala mo naman yung actor dun sa mga readings. Thank you. Uh, more than... Uh, Message. Sabi ko kasi, di ba, may social relevance. We wanted to know what is the core message of the film. Uh, well, for me, it's more of, uh, kasi ano tayo, parang perspective siya ng mga kids in an exclusive school mm-hmm. who live in their own bubble na parang tingin nila, ito lang yung mundo. Kasi nanonotice ko may mga certain, let's say, barkada movies or movies about youth na parang nakakulong lang sila doon sa world ng, ng mundo ng school nila na ito na yung life, ito na yung hierarchy. Pero ang dead kids, parang pinapakita ko na what happens when these very privileged uh, kids na sarado yung perspective what happens when they clash with the real world and the real society and the consequences mm-hmm. nun actions nila so parang at first parang feeling mo yun nga typical high school movie hip yun. pero once magbanggaan sila sa elements in the real world and yung climate nga sa labas may may dire consequences yun and uh, ayaw namin i-ignore yun world sa country natin na nag-exist outside of high school. Uh, and I think they, the dead kids will learn that through the movie. Direct question. Uh, since it, uh, you have a collaboration with Globe Studios, um, I just want to know, paano magsimula yung collaboration nyo? And then, how they did handpick yung uh, movie para ito yung iproduce nila? Ang um, matagal ko rin kasi kilala si ano, Derek Ward Canales. Uh, when we came up with the concept, um, parang naisip lang namin na bagay kasi Globus is just parang new blood rin sila sa, sa industry in making movies and then they helped market it, um, Birdshot. Uh, and, you know, uh, very lifestyle, tech-based, very hip. Diba? Kahit si Quark as a producer, very hip. So parang naisip ko lang itong material na itong bagay sa kanila. This is a true-to-life story? Uh, loosely based on a news event. Uh, uh, na-research. May ganun rin eh. May students na nag-kidnap ng classroom. So, and na-jail na sila. 
Uh, pero hindi siya exactly yun. So, parang ginamit namin yung event na yun. Pero ito, fictional. Do you feel any pressure since you just came from a blockbuster hit na series? Uh, hindi naman. Siyempre, number one, lagi yung content and yung story. And ako nga, like yung sinabi ko earlier, uh, na-enjoy ko yung process of you know making genre movies for Filipino audience. Uh, so, ako, that's what comes first, yung craft. And then, kung, syempre, <coughs> ano pa rin kami, uh, syempre, strategic pa rin naman kami. Like, gusto namin, maraming manood, kasi ano point ng may message yung movie mo, kung, kung seven diba, people lang yun sa Europe. So, parang gusto pa rin namin wide audience, kaya try pa rin namin i, maybe after yung lifespan ng movie sa theatrical, gusto namin i-BOD. I mean, lahat ng films ko naman, kahit pa paano, may structure na gano'n. Kaya try namin, the more people na, di ba, ma-influence mo and ma-reach, the better. Well, for me yun, as a filmmaker. Actually, tapos na ba siya ng Yes, oh, lagi ko naman tinatry. Like with Kiri, even though studio movie siya, winner premiere muna namin sa film festival. Uh, ito siya kaya attempt na namin. So, yun nga, we will always try. With the cast naman, ano yung, as 